This is Pod Classic. Now, Pod Classic is a music player that has a design similar to the iPod with fully functional buttons just like the iPod. And with the app, you can not only play songs from your device storage, but you can also view photos found in your device and even play videos of your choice directly from the app, which is really nice. And a feature that caught me by surprise is that if you go to the main menu of the app and then select extra apps, you can play two games, one being called Brick, that you have to make sure that this ball doesn't touch the ground, and two is Music Quiz by which the app will play a random song, and then you have to select the correct song that's playing, which is a really fun game to kill time. Plus, the app's features and look and feel are fully customizable in the app's settings. So. For most of us who download apps from different sites other than the Play Store, we do know that getting updates for some apps is a bit tricky if not difficult. Now with an app called Obtainium, you can get updates for your apps with ease. Just paste the source link of where you downloaded the app, then click on add and the app will show you the available updates for that app. And let me make a quick clarification that pasting the link of the download source is a one-time process since the app will save the source of that specific app so you wouldn't have to redo the process. This is an app that lets you fake your device's location to make it seem like it's on any place on planet Earth. Just select your desired location on the map and then hit apply and boom, you're in another dimension. I mean, on another place on Earth. And a heads up is that this app will only work if you have activated mock location on your phone and also location should be turned on. And to activate mock location on your phone, go to settings, then developer options, then look for a setting called select mock location app, then tap on it and then here select fake traveler and you'll be good to go. And this app is really useful if you want to watch movies not found in your country or you can use it to prevent apps from knowing your exact location. This is an open source Telegram client that functions exactly as Telegram but has added features to it that makes it more functional than Telegram. Now if you select the drop down menu in the app, then select settings, you'll see a setting called Nico settings. And if you select this setting, you'll be able to change things like the translation provider, disabling bubbles in notification, enhancing download speed, using the system emojis and so much more features that will level up your Telegram usage. And the fun part is that if you sign in on Nicogram with your Telegram account, you won't be logged out of Telegram, instead your account would function on both apps simultaneously, which is really nice compared to some apps that log you out of your account when you sign in in another app. Tons of apps on your device need different permissions in order for them to function properly. But not all apps really need all those permissions they ask to function. So with the app permission pilot, you can view deeper on each app and know exactly what the app plans to do with the permissions it asks and also know the additional permissions that the app can access which can help you fully decide whether to let the app have access to those permissions or not. Also the app has grouped all major permissions in a single place and has subdivided each category so you can easily see what apps have access to specific permissions which is really useful. If you want to know exactly how much time do you spend on your phone, then you can do that with the app screen time. Now with the app, you get a permanent notification that continuously shows you how much time you've spent on your phone on that specific day. Also, you can see a sum of your device usage time up to 3 days of usage which is really helpful for keeping track of how much time you spend on your device.